Good afternoon. Well, I'm just here to encourage all students, people thinking about studying. And I want to tell you all, don't think about it, just do it. Our God is the God of the impossible, and I can testify about it. Many years ago, when I was a young man, I was at university. I dropped out because of my lifestyle, because of no God, and that actually asked me to leave university. My life was really on the wrong way. But I, when I got saved in 2007, within the first two months, I had four prophecies of prophetic people that told me, God is going to make you do a doctoral degree because the world is going to need it and He's going to use it to open doors and to be, give you influence in governmental positions. And I really thought that people are crazy. I just laughed and I walked away. And then I realized after four, I need to pray. And as I prayed, I said, Lord, what are you, is this the truth? Is this you? And He said, yes, Etienne, you're going to do it. But you're not allowed to accept any honor, honorary doctor's degrees. You will have to work for it. And I really thought, well, this is not me. I hate studies. There's no ways I'm going to do it. But anyway, my life carried on. And in October 2014, I was sitting with Jesus in the palace. And he asked me, he said, Etienne, what are you doing about your doctoral degree? What I spoke to you in 2007. I said, Lord, I can't lie. You know I did nothing about it. And he said, start preparing yourself. It is coming to you. Well, to cut the long short, in October, to, in sept end of September 2015, George Sparrett, Dr. George Sparrett of Morningstar, made contact with me. And from there, they allowed me in the program, they got permission for me, and I had to start doing my PhD. Not just a degree, straight away into PhD. And I thought this is crazy. And I asked him, when is the graduation? He said, 4th of June 2016. You have got seven months, six months at that stage. And I thought, no, I said, Lord, I will do it in the two year span. And the Lord said, no, Etienne, you will graduate the 4th of June. Well, people, I started looking at, I had no idea. I started writing more or less in November, December, January, February. I came to America to do some conferences and meetings. And on my second night here in America, the Lord told me one night, Etienne, everything that you have written on your laptop and your iPad, delete it immediately and I thought no I said Lord I'm not hearing right he said no it's me speaking just delete it I said Lord I don't think we understand each other it needs to be in in April he said delete everything so I deleted it and now I thought and I sat and thought now God's going to speak to me I'm going to get a supernatural, supernatural download and maybe he's even going to write it for me and I sat and I waited for three weeks I got absolute nothing. So I arrived in Australia then, straight from America, and Andrew Howey looked at me and said, Do you see your program so busy? And for five days I had to minister at conference from the morning till the night, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, three hour sessions, all on my own, the only speaker. But the last two days I only had to minister in the night. And I said, "What?" Why do I only get off here? He said, because God said, I must help you and advise you on your thesis. So he sat with me for two hours advising me as many people have done their doctorate through him. And I started writing. I went back to Australia. I had literally four weeks left before I could hand it in. And I wrote and I wrote and I spent hours and hours and hours, easy 10, 12 hours a day writing, researching. And well, a week before I had to end it, and the Lord said, go back to Andrew in Australia and let him read through it. So I thought, yes, Lord, but I still had to do a last chapter of 23 pages because it needs to be a 200 page book. So as Andrew started reading it, I was busy writing the last chapter. He looked at me and suddenly, a half an hour into seeing him, he threw my thesis in front of me and put it on the table and said, Me, Etienne, you have failed. 
I, it felt to me like I was busy dying. I wanted to cry and I didn't want to cry in front of said, you have failed. They will never accept this. I said, what do you mean? Are you joking? He said, no, I'm serious. This will never make it. I said, what have I done wrong? He said, your contents are good, but you wrote it as a book. And like in teaching, it needs to be academic paper. I said, what, is, what do I need to do now? He said, you have to rewrite your whole thesis. I said, Andrew, I can't. I've got five days left, six days, before I have to hand it in. He said, there's no other way. And I just said, this can only be God. Only God can do this. And he said, yes, you're right. So what happened then, for the next four days, I started writing at two in the morning till 12 at night. Every night. I had two hours rest. But what was strange and very difficult to me, the Sunday morning at half past six, I got a blank. I struck a blank that was nothing in my head. I could not read. I did not know what my thesis was about. It was like I was totally, totally empty. And I walked there and I cried and I cried before the Lord. I said, Lord, what are you doing to me? This can't be. You're supposed to help me. You're my father. You promised me you'll always help me. I can't. I can't. You know I haven't got time. I could do nothing. And I walked for an hour and a half on a farm and through the bush. And I just cried and begged the Lord. I said, please help me. And then I went and I sat and I carried on writing but was very slow. But on that Sunday at 2 o'clock something happened. It was like everything, heavens opened up and I started writing and I wrote without a break right through till 20 past 6 the next morning. But 20 past 6, my thesis was finished. When I walked into his office, Andrew's office the next day, I said, where you at page 30? I said, no, Andrew, I am finished. He said, it's impossible. I said, no, you said it's just God. Here it is. I want to tell all of you, do it, you can do it. If you allow God to take control, He will manifest in you. You need to realize that the fullness of God is inside of you. The fullness, Colossians 2 says, the fullness of the Godhead 3 and 1 is inside of you. And I want to tell all of you, if I could have done it, you could do it easily. And through this you'll be formed. I am so glad everything happened to me. Because God exposed so many things in me. He, he exposed unworthiness, rejection, everything that was hidden in me. And He restored me in the fullness. And that's why I realized He told me He didn't want me to take an honorary doctor's degree. Because I've had five offers from universities in the past for honorary doctor's degrees. And every time I'd reject because God said you will work for it. And now, what has it happened? He restored me in fullness because now I can say, I am worthy. I worked for it. So I want to tell all of you, you can do it. With God, anything is possible. Bless all of you.